10 Indoor Medical Marijuana Growing Tips The reality is you can have success growing indoors with little effort using some basic marijuana growing tips as well as avoiding the common mistakes. Growing medical marijuana can be a fun and a great experience if you know what you're doing. Otherwise, it could be a pain in the neck and can be very expensive learning experience if you don't know what you're doing. Here are 10 straightforward marijuana growing tips for someone new to indoor gardening. Do your homework. Many times this step is overlooked and growing indoors can be one of the most difficult methods to grow without natural sunlight. Before you start, get familiar with the basics of growing marijuana indoors. Read about cultivating indoors, how to design indoor grow rooms, electricity needed for lighting and growing systems, along with many other aspects that will need to be considered. Remember, on the internet you will always find answers to the same questions you currently have. It has been asked before. And it is full of information available at your fingertips. Construct Indoor Growing Area The indoor growing area or space, typically a basement, is the first consideration since it will dictate how you are growing to set up your entire growing operation. This is the very first step, so do not start germinating your seeds or purchasing clones until your indoor grow room is fully set up and equipment installed. If you do not carefully design your indoor growing area, then most likely you will encounter problems when you start growing. Extreme heat, lack of ventilation, not enough electricity, etc. Vegetative and Flowering Areas you will want to build two separate rooms. One area made specifically for flowering, which means 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of nighttime, and a second area, normally smaller than the blooming area, for vegetative growth. And this is for 18 hours of daylight and 6 hours of nighttime. By having a vegetative area, you can cut clones from a mother plant and germinate seeds. And it is in this area where the small marijuana seedlings from clones or seeds will grow into large plants. As soon as you have finished harvesting and cleaned the flowering area, you will immediately move the large plants from the vegetative area into the flowering area to start the blooming process again. Here's an important marijuana growing tip. The most efficient indoor growing technique if you can master is a crop rotation method between your two grow areas, the vegetative and flowering areas. If you are able to establish a crop rotation, it will take less time between harvests since you will be growing plants tall in the vegetative area and blooming in the flowering area. Use HID lighting system. How much light do I need for my indoor grow is a question that first time growers ask. Use a high intensity discharge light or HID when growing indoors in order to replicate the sun and it is recommended to use 30 watts at least for every square foot of growing area. This isn't a marijuana growing tip. It is an HID lighting system is a requirement and of course the more light the larger your yield will be at harvest time. Here's an example to help you decide the wattage to use. The natural sunlight is about 1000 watts per meter, so that's 95 watts per square foot, at sea level on the equator at solar and noon. So the best way to think about this is this is the very most light the Earth receives per square meter will be somewhere around the tropics such as Hawaii. So there is also a simple rule of thumb you can use as a general guide to determine how much light you will need. 1000 watts for a 6 by foot area, 600 watts for a 5 by foot area, and 400 watts for a 4 by foot area. Air circulation and ventilation. When it comes to air circulation, you can never have enough of it, and you need it for your marijuana plants to grow healthy. Air movement is an essential marijuana growing tip because it removes the hot, humid air, which aids in the prevention of bud mold and mildew on the leaves. Good circulation will also provide your plants with fresh air that contains the carbon dioxide they need to photosynthesize in your indoor grow room. Here is a key marijuana growing tip. You need to filter all of the air that leaves your indoor room 
to remove the odor of marijuana. And, if possible, you will also want to filter the fresh air coming into your grow room to reduce pests from entering your area. Stick with a basic growing method. We recommend anyone that is new to growing indoors to start with organic soil and grow in containers or pots. Always start growing inexpensively when you are learning. A key marijuana growing tip is start with some basic bags of organic soil and pots the first time you grow and don't use a fancy system. This is an easy but excellent strategy. You will want to grow using soil until you have enough experience to start trying out advanced growing systems. Remember, it is important you learn the basics of growing marijuana and master those first before you consider using a high-tech growing method or advanced system such as hydroponics and aquaponics. Use one line of nutrients. If you have recently been to a hydroponics or growing store, you know that there are tons of different nutrition brands and various supplements to feed your medical marijuana. You will see different products claim that they will make your plants grow faster, yield bigger buds, and taste better. The key marijuana growing tip here is to pick one brand and only use that brand's line of nutrition. Most brands of nutrition have a complete line of nutrients designed for medical marijuana and they will give you the best response possible. Keep your grow room clean. As the saying goes, cleanliness is next to godliness. And this is another key marijuana growing tip. It is essential to keep the growing areas clean, otherwise it will invite pests and may present a safety hazard, which could even result in an electrical fire that could burn your house down. You will want to remove all of the dead foliage and throw them away. Be sure to do it discreetly. Also, try to have a gardening outfit, a clean of pair of shoes and garments that you can wear when you're working on your grow. By using simple preventative steps, it will reduce the likelihood of pests. Loose lips sink ships. It can be difficult to maintain the confidentiality of your indoor grow room. Growing medical marijuana is really a great experience and you may want to show it to some of your close friends. This is an important marijuana growing tip. Keep your mouth shut and don't tell anyone about any grow. People have a bad habit of talking. For every person you trust to tell, expect them to tell, tell 10 people that they trust enough to tell as well. Use excellent genetics or strains. Always use the best strain or genetic of marijuana that meets your medical needs. You need to decide if you need a certain genetic type of marijuana or you know of a specific strain that you want. You want a hefty yield, then you will want to choose a strain known to be a large producer. Or, if you need a particular kind of high or stone, then make sure you pick a strain that possesses those medicinal qualities. This also goes back to number one, do your homework. Make sure you do some research for your indoor grow area and follow these marijuana growing tips. And it will definitely save you electricity, time, and money. Let us know what you think.